In the United States, we have approximately 17,000 spinal cord injuries every year. Unfortunately, we don't have treatments that are completely successful to repair the spinal cord. One of the goals in our laboratory is to develop therapies that can help the recovery of function of individuals who suffer from spinal cord injury. My name is Dr. Monica Perez. I'm the scientific chair of the Arms and Hands Lab. My name is Hang Jin Jo. I'm a postdoc fellow working with Dr. Monica Perez at Arms and Hands Lab. So our goal was to understand if we could target those connections from the brain that are still available after the injury and try to maximize their activity. In this approach, we use transcranial magnetic stimulation over the primary motor cortex to activate corticospinal neurons. We also use electrical stimulation of a peripheral nerve to stimulate uh, motor neurons antidromically. So in our study, we tested 38 individuals with chronic incomplete spinal cord injury. So the subject went through 10 sessions of paired stimulation combined with exercise or sham stimulation combined with exercise. We took measurements before the intervention, immediately after the intervention, and then we asked them to come back to the laboratory six months after the intervention. And we found that corticospinal excitability measured from transcranial magnetic stimulation and maximum voluntary contractions in targeted muscles increased after paired stimulation with exercise, but not after sham stimulation combined with exercise. So individuals improve their walking speed after the stimulation combined with exercise. Also individuals were able to grasp different objects uh, in lesser amount of time. Paper together with our previous evidence provide the background for a large clinical trial that we're currently running at the Shirley Ryan Ability Lab. We apply the same principle as in this study in the current protocol, but we are applying it in multiple muscles. In this trial, we invite individuals with chronic, incomplete, and different levels of spinal cord injury to receive or participate in 40 sessions of exercise combined with physical rehabilitation. Exercise is the most common way of uh, rehabilitation therapy that we use in our patients, not only with spinal cord injury, but with different motor disorders. This study is very important because it shows uh, for the first time that you, we can use this type of plasticity in order to potentiate the effects of exercise rehabilitation. So we can use this tool to access pathways that are affected by the injury and make exercise more effective for rehabilitation. Our group is the only one using this approach to target the spinal cord in the U.S.